hello guys welcome to my youtube channel chem discussion today i will talk about halo electronization reaction which is which is very important for csi net and gate examination so let's see what is electroni halo electronization reaction in the halo electronization reaction the gamma delta unsaturated carboxylic acid is treated with bromine and sodium bicarbonate to give a five membered cyclic ester that is lactone along with bromine substituent so what is the mechanism first the deprotonation occurs at the carboxylic position carboxylic group by the bicarbonate base which is a mild base and then nucleophilic nucleophilic addition gives strained cyclic bromonium ion and then the O minus attack the strained cyclic bromonium ion to give the halo electronized product so this is the mechanism first deprotonation occurs then nucleophilic addition occurs at the double bond position then o minus attack to give halo electronized product then let's see some more examples here first halo electronization occurs by the iodine and sodium bicarbonate to give product then it is treated with sodium methoxide which acts as a nucleophile to give this intermediate then it escapes then this oxygen attacks and iodine is a, as a good living group it expels out so it gives and here the two substituents are there to methyl group so then again OME minus attack at the less steric hindrance position at the of the epoxide to give our product this is the product so first halo electronization occurs then treated with sodium methoxide gives this product so let's take another example here here also first halo electronization occurs but uh, need to understand the stereochemistry because when halo electronization occurs the lepton ring forms with with a particular stereo specificity and then if it is treated with a base like sodium methoxide then deprotonation occurs but there is some selectivity there are there are five five proton which can be deprotonated but but here e2 elimination occurs 
that's why because of this carbonyl group this proton this proton which is anti of this iodine gets removed to get double bond over here and iodine expels out so this keeps the product this is the product so first halolactonization occurs then if it is treated with base then it gives this alpha beta unsaturated alpha beta unsaturated product so and this cost this example has come in csir net so it is a very important topic so that's it for today thank you for watching my videos subscribe my channel like it and share it